Now, the practice of rearing pigs on concrete floors is quickly fading as farmers adopt innovative solutions to get rid of the foul smell while keeping the animals healthy at the same time. One of the solutions that has attracted the attention of many farmers is the deep litter system, which entails the use of a layer of bedding materials such as sawdust and rice husks to manage waste from the pigs. On this week's edition of Smart Farm, Dennis Otieno paid a visit to one farmer in Kiambu County who's winning big in pig rearing thanks to this system. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Looking for a convenient way of receiving payments for your farming business? Get one equity till number for free. No sign-up fee, no commissions charged. Visit any equity branch or call 763 000 to sign up for free. Grow your farming business with one equity till number. Pig styes are commonly associated with pungent smell due to a mixture of decomposing leftover foodstuff and animal fecal matter strewn on their enclosures. However, at this farm located at Karibariwi area in Thika West, Kiambu County, the owner Paul Karanja has adopted a concept that promises to clean up the mess. People who move or who walk along our farm, they don't even know we have pigs here. And like other farms whereby you find the sty of the pigs itself, it will not make you stay next to a pig farm. Paul has ensured cleanliness of his pig sty by embracing the deep litter system. The system entails use of dry biomass such as rice husk or sawdust. You dig a pit like one meter deep and then on that one meter deep you don't concrete. You lay some logs and some branches, and then there is charcoal that you use on the, on the ground and um, soil. And then uh, the bed itself, you lay like eight inches of rice husk or sawdust or anything like that, so that you can, your pigs can feel comfortable. Continuous washing of sheds often generates wastewater rich in nitrogenous substances. This layer of bedding now acts as an organic absorbent. Once you dig the one meter deep pit, you first lay charcoal dust. Charcoal helps in carbon. We mix lime with, 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 uh, with soil. That gives us minerals. So then you lay your logs. Logs, they absorb the waste of the animal, so it doesn't go anywhere, it pulls it down. This is like compost. It's just the way you heap in some things and then you find them decomposing. Having started off his pig farming venture in 2019 with just 25 piglets on this half-acre farm, Paul admits the system has played a key role in growing his enterprise. We have had in our farm uh, about 600 pigs, but currently our farm has 158. Minimizing on water usage, that is perhaps one of the biggest benefits that Paul has experienced as a result of using this system. He has cut down on his water cost by an average of 50%. Because the cost of water comes very, very low. Since you don't clean the pens as used to the traditional one, so you save so much on water. Other benefits include faster pig growth and reduction of labor costs. The whole farm, we have like two staff who work in our farm and we have over 100 plus pigs. This is because they don't clean the pen, so their work is just to feed the pig and uh, also helping the pigs to, uh, to turn. They, they usually uh, turn the bed maybe once in a while. The cost of production, however, in any deep litter system depends on the size of the farm, as this dictates the quantity of litter to be used. Smart farm.